Throughout our body, cells are constantly dividing and regenerating. But neurons were always a bit different. They're the little tail-like structures that communicate with electricity, kind of your body's cellular signals, letting you pick up a pen or remember your name. It was thought that we stopped making neurons right after birth, and that as we aged, we'd start losing these brain cells and our brain function over time. But what if we're wrong? What if these brain cells have continued their lineage right under our very nose? <gasps> This is the fascinating discovery of adult neurogenesis, the continued production of neurons long after our embryonic stage. It all starts from the division of neural stem cells. Normally cells have a pretty short length of division, like this piece of paper. You can try to keep cutting it in half, but you'll eventually have to stop. Each cell will also be the exact same type as its parent cell. What's unique about stem cells is that they can divide or proliferate for long periods of time. Every new cell also can differentiate into a cell that does its own unique job. In neurogenesis, the neural stem cell is first activated by many chemicals, including neurotransmitters like GABA and glutamine. It'll develop into transit amplifying progenitors. These taps will start dividing and dividing to form neuroblasts, cells who've reached the point of no return, meaning they have to become a neuron. They'll then start their little migration journey into the neural network, their new home, and differentiate into immature neurons. As they develop, they'll eventually be welcomed with open arms into existing neural connections. Yay! Adult neurogenesis was first observed in mice brains, declining as the mice got older. More recently, baby neurons were discovered to be birthing from and helping human brains in three areas. First, the dentate gyrus of the hippocampus. Think of it as a hippo college campus, since it's responsible for learning and spatial memory. Second, the angry amygdala, which regulates extreme emotions like fear, stress, and both anger. Thirdly, the subventricular zone, where they migrate down to the olfactory bulb, which regulates our sense of smell. It's why older people producing fewer neurons have poorer memory, or why people on cell division disrupting drugs have higher rates of depression and anxiety. Neurogenesis has incredible potential. It can cure life-threatening diseases associated with neuron decay or failure, like Alzheimer's, stroke, Parkinson's, which affect a combined 75 million people worldwide. It's why researchers are scrambling to find if adult neurogenesis can be stimulated or naturally encouraged. Some studies suggest that a balanced diet, aerobic exercise, sleep, mental stimulation, and even getting it on can promote the process. So the next time you feel like you're operating on your last functioning brain cell, know that your body's always producing new ones, keeping your mind in tip-top shape.